Hi, welcome back to Seaside Clothing Tutorials. I've been a little hiatus lately. Um, I was down sick for nearly three weeks. Uh, the air quality here has been uh, really bad this year, which is surprising. Um, it's the first time since being in Virginia that we've had this much of a um, problem. And we had an kind of an early spring, so we had a lot of uh, pollen and uh, it just hasn't done me well this year. So uh, I've been going through periodic uh, congestion and ear infections and sinus infections and everything else. So anyways, the long and short of it is that I'm back. We'll see how long it lasts, but I hopefully don't get sick anymore, um, at least until uh, this winter, let's hope crossing my fingers so anyways let's get to the box opening I actually have a box and a package because um, I didn't get a chance to open either one and I like to be able to open them with you and I couldn't really do any projects during that time mostly just resting so now I get to open them with you and we have our seashells that come in the package. It's really wonderful that Barb takes the time uh, when she goes out uh, on vacation or um, just for a trip to the beach to collect thousands and thousands of shells. You would not believe how many hours she walks the beaches and she collects shells for us, which is really uh, just a wonderful gift that she shares with us. Um, and pretty much every time I get a package, I get, um, a seashell or two or three and, um, I keep them. I use them in my yard, the bigger ones. And then the smaller ones, I have, um, dishes that I put them in for display. Um, I just think they're fun and really beautiful. And I've seen others, um, in our group have different ideas. Some have used glass bottles and put them in there um, with marbles or with some of those uh, colored stones. And um, those are beautiful. One person uh, even put like a candle at the top of the bottle um, that she had them displayed in, which was just really neat. She put a, a votive candle inside of a little uh, votive candle holder and put it in the top really beautiful what a great idea um, that was I don't remember who shared it um, and I don't want to say a name and hurt anyone's feelings but um, it was a beautiful share um, idea um, that she sent to us and I may actually do that in my bathroom after I ever get it painted I still have my whole uh, third floor to paint this is our third year here and I still have not even touched the upstairs. I've done my sewing room, I've done the main floor and eventually uh, sometime when I'm not getting sick and doing so many projects, I might actually make it up there. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. It's been a while. So I don't remember what exactly what I'm expecting to have in. So we'll just see what it all is. I'm excited to see. I'm always excited with my packages. Okay. This is a kit that I'm going to be um, doing a tutorial on coming up. Uh, for the rest of the year, um, most of the tutorials will be um, gift oriented, holiday oriented, uh, of course, quilt oriented always, and um, some tips and tricks thrown in and so forth. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to kind of start mixing up the sewing and the um, quilting together. We go through, um, during the year, we've been doing a um, quilt along, sew along, whatever you want to call them and uh, getting beautiful quilts done and some lessons in there for those uh, who are learning to quilt. So now being that we're in July, I had planned on starting much earlier this year. I apologize that I haven't been able to. I had 
projects planned out and set up and ready for me to do. Um, but with the coughing and congestion and runny noses and everything else, I just could not sit in front of a camera. My eyes were watering. It was just horrible. I still have somewhat of a cough, so I keep cough drops handy. And actually, I'm going to grab one now real quick because they really help me not to have that awful cough. So this is a project kit that has come in that I'm going to be doing uh, Oh, a little note. I sometimes get little notes from Barb reminding me um, of what they're planning and whatnot. So this is the uh, Carry Along by Sally, uh, Sally Tomato. I don't know why I always want to say Sally May Tomato. Um, I guess uh, years ago I knew this girl named Sally May and it just sticks in my head so whenever I go to say the name. But it's Sally Tomato. Um, it's a wonderful pattern. They do great patterns. And so um, I'm going to be doing this with, of course, cork. I know a lot of you have been seeing the cork and asking um, how, does, how does it sew? How does it, um, you know, how does the wear go on it? You can actually wash, not in a washing machine, I don't think, but you can uh, take a damp cloth and wash these off. Um, which is really nice and handy when you have a purse or, um, you know, any kind of a bag. So I'm going to be using, this is, um, this is beautiful. It's got the darker blue that goes to a medium blue and then to a very light blue. Isn't that beautiful? And then to complement it, I have uh, this fabric to go with it, some Belly Dots fabric. And I don't remember exactly which one this is, but if you were to ask Barb, she would know. I have problems re remembering the names of all the fabrics. Actually, I have problems with remembering names, period. If you give me a bunch of numbers, I'm gonna remember them. Give me people's names or any names of anything. Um, I would not have been helpful in name that tune, just saying. Although I recognize them and I'll recognize people in movies and stuff, but I just cannot remember names for the life of me. And of course, um, we have some of the stabilizer in here um, to sturdy it up. We have the Sally Tomato um, scissor which is really nice. I have this in the blue as well. I had uh, ordered that uh, last time or the time before. So uh, she sent me some gray uh, to go with this and um, the hardware. So we have a lot of uh, bag making hardware or purse making hardware. Just check either um, sqscommentsold.com so for those of you have, who are not familiar, we've gone to a new selling system on Facebook called Comment Sold. And basically all it is is that during our lives or on our posts that we make for sales on Seaside Quilting Supplies LLC on Facebook, and also we have private sales just for our members, um, which is on Facebook and it's called Seaside Quilting. But if you go to sqs.commentsold.com, you'll see that Barb has been putting many, many, many of our products in there. And she's got our uh, bag making hardware, uh, zippers, thread, fabric, all kinds of stuff has been going in there and little by little each week she's adding more and more product and as new product comes in it automatically goes into the comments sold also we have an etsy store called fabrics by the sea all one word and there may be some things on etsy that we don't yet have into the comment sold site we also have an app you can download it either from the app store on Apple or on um, 
Android. I've don't ask me what the names of them are. I just know they're the the place where you go get your apps for your phone. Um, as I just said, I don't remember the names of things. <laughs> go figure. So, anyways, I know how to do it. So you just go there. You search Seaside Quilting Supplies LLC and you can download our app. They also have one for um, the iPad. And uh, however, Kindle, no, um, it's not available. The app is not available on Kindle. I'm not sure that it ever will be because Amazon is their own entity all to themselves, by themselves, and they have their own things. So I'm not sure if you'll ever see it for Kindle or not. Um, however, and I've had a couple people ask, so I'm just throwing that out there so that you know. But you can download it for your phone, you can download the app uh, for your tablet, or you, you can go on the computer to the site. And whenever we have a live, if you join the notifications part, when you sign up, and you, so anyways, you first, you can set it up for the notifications. And whenever we have a live sale, you'll get a, a pop-up message if you want, but you can turn that off in your phone or tablet or whatever. That's up to you. We can't always control um, notifications on our end. We send them out so that people will know, but if they bother you, you can turn them off. Now, typically, our live is our live sales are on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Thursdays, we have a pop-up in the afternoon and sometimes throughout the week. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> spontaneously, uh, sometimes they decide, oh, I'd like to show you this. Because posting a picture of the fabric is not quite the same as seeing it or seeing it against another fabric that it may or may not coordinate with, but it helps you to see the coloring and whatnot. And all of our fabrics are quality, uh, quilt shop quality fabrics, not cheap fabric. Um, they're well produced, um, which I'm not talking cheap as in money, although it is a little more expensive because uh, there's more threads in the fabric uh, than cheaper fabric um, that you would get in a department store. And it depends on, of course, what you're using your fabric for. But I like my quilts to hold up for many, many years for the people that I'm giving them to because some people that I'm giving them to um, are only going to get one, let's face it. I mean, I've got a big family. I've already done um, the majority of my husband's family. And when I do gifts, I make things and give them. So I like them to hold up. I want them to last quite a while. So I use good fabric and I use good batting and I use good thread. Because if you're going to use good fabric, you should use good batting and good thread. Otherwise, you're just wasting your money um, because the thread won't hold up if it's bad or um, the batting's not gonna hold up if it's not quality, right? So anyhow, this is a kit that I'll be doing in the future. I'm gonna keep it together in here. Um, I've got a stack of kits over there. I'm gonna be doing some projects coming up. So I'm trying to keep everything together. So that way when I go to do a project uh, to put on YouTube and in the group for you, uh, I can just grab one of the kits and um, away I go. So we're just gonna set that aside all intact. And then I'll, also it helps me to remember what I have ahead of me um, to do, because there's constantly things going on in my head that I wanna show you and teach you, or just inspire you. Because uh, sometimes you already know how to make something, but um, the tutorial will come up and you go, oh yeah, and it inspires you. And maybe you may not make the same exact thing or not, of course, with the same exact fabrics or cork or whatever, um, you'll choose your own. And it's amazing to me to see uh, what other people do with fabrics, because this has been fabrics that I'm like, eh, iffy about them. I'm like, I don't really like that. But then I see somebody else do something with it and it looks spectacular. And I'm like, wow, I never thought of that. So I love when people share their projects. Okay, let's 
see what we have going here. Okay, some of this is my order. I think some is going to be a backing for um, a couple of quilts. So I'm going to open both packages. And as you know, our, we double package. It comes in a plastic. Then it's wrapped, um, and first it's wrapped in paper, which is really nice. Then it's put into a plastic bag, and then it's put into your box or your package that's going to be shipped out to you. So I've never seen packaging so well done, and it's great. Okay, so this is what I was looking for. And she even sent me matching thread. Isn't that lovely? I love this thread. Glide is one of my very most favorite threads. It's a trilobal uh, polyester. It's very strong. This is 40 weight. Um, we eventually, I think, uh, will be getting in the Glide 60, which is uh, a 60 weight like bottom line. Um, but I really like Glide a lot better um, personally. I love bottom line. I have probably 20 something colors. I think it was 27 last I counted. So um, nothing against bottom line. I love it. Superior Threads makes great quality thread. I use many, many of their threads. I just happen to like Glide quite a bit. And I'm just loving this color. What color is this one? Oh, this is Dodger. I don't think I have this one yet. Isn't that wonderful? I always like it when I get something that I don't already, already have. And I have a lot, a lot of thread. You would not believe. I've got embroidery thread. I've got uh, quilting thread. I've sewing thread. So much thread. Bag making thread. Uh, it's just on and on. So I made this uh, three yard quilt from one of the three yard quilt books. It was the Christmas one. And um, I believe this was called uh, Wonderland. And so Barb has sent it back to me. Not that she couldn't quilt it, because I know that she can. I've seen her do quilting and um, she can definitely quilt, but that poor woman doesn't even have enough time to sew, let alone quilt most of the time. So she sent it back to me and the um, magical fairy brush fabric, I think that's what it's called, um, has come back into stock. And um, this is by Timeless Treasures. And this is the backing fabric. Now I wish this would have come out all at the same time because I would have had this all done. But what a surprise. It came out in the backing fabric. So this is 108 inches uh, wide instead of your typical 44 or 42. And um, so she sent me the backing and the thread and she has sent me back the quilt and I'm going to be quilting this. And when I do some of the quilting, I'll probably film a little bit, bit, bit of it. Uh, I'm not going to talk through it, probably just show you um, how I'm quilting it, um, just for some inspiration and ideas. So we're going to set this over here. I think I have about five quilts. I've never been this far behind on uh, finishing projects. This weekend, I needed to take some extra time um, to restore myself after being sick for three weeks. Imagine that. And so I just took the whole weekend off and I cleaned my um, sewing crafting room and uh, even set up a section for my bead making. Um, I do uh, danglies for purses and jewelry and whatnot or used to. I don't have as much time anymore. But since I'm going to be making a bag, I want to make a dangly uh, to hang on it, like a charm type thing. And so I set that up and have that ready to go uh, to do some projects with. And um, 
we got rid of the exercise machine so it left room for one of my uh, desks to come in and uh, made room for that and so now I'm getting that all set up which is just wonderful so let me see what I have on my order okay so I'd forgotten I ordered this I'm so excited about it so excited this is the Northcott Bliss um, fabric it's the amethyst color isn't that gorgeous you know when I first saw this I was like oh you know I have a lot of uh, belly dots I mean a lot a lot and so you know I was like well do I really need more dots fabric and then um, I was watching a different live and it got held up really really close and this is when it gets dangerous for me and I saw just how beautiful it was and that's why the lives are just great because you get to see the fabrics and I just love that and this is just gorgeous fabric so I got myself um, I don't remember how much I bet I got. Oh, it looks like maybe two yards. It's a yard and a half or two yards. I think it's two yards though. Beautiful fabric. So I got that. I also got the Anthology Guacamole um, Batik. I love batiks. I love working with batiks. Isn't that pretty? And last uh saint patrick's day well prior to saint patrick's day i went to make some table runners um for my dining room and living room and i only had dark greens mostly and a lot of teal teal doesn't really go with the green green as well as i'd like it to so i've been little by little i've been picking up some different variations of green and oh this is just beautiful it has um, the yellow and the greens, and it's just spectacular. Beautiful, beautiful fabric. So I'm gonna be putting that to some good use. Every year I tell myself I should start holidays, like I should do holidays during the summer, and then during the holidays I should be doing stuff for spring and summer. One of these years, and I don't even wanna talk about how old I'm gonna be this year, but um, I have not achieved that yet. If you have, I am so happy for you, but I have not achieved it yet. I keep saying I need to. So the other anthology batik that I got, um, this one's chocolate. And I already have some of this, uh, but I knew that I, I think she said something about she was getting low in yardage on this chocolate and so I picked up another yard of it to be sure uh, that I have just a little bit of extra there are certain black um, that I like I really like jet black it's my favorite black um, I don't like a grayish black um, sometimes a purplish black um, is really great but I really like jet black. There are certain whites that I like, certain off-whites that I like, you know what I mean. And same goes with browns. Um, there are certain browns that I like and um, will be using with some fall fabrics coming up um, during probably September. I'll start doing um, some fallish um, projects and uh, we'll be getting toward you know heading towards thanksgiving and christmas oh my goodness i can't believe that they're you know like i, I feel like i'm going to blink and it's already going to be here so uh i have projects in mind for that that will be coming in i also got the northcott bliss caribbean and i got a yard and a half of that and that's this one here. This is the lighter um, one. And it's just spectacular, just like the amethyst. I'm going to love using these in quilts and projects. And then this is the Northcott Bliss Lagoon. 
and I got a yard and a half of that as well. In fact, I went a little crazy that day. I don't know what was going on, but um, something was going on in my head. I don't know what it was. But, yeah. So this is the lagoon. Beautiful blues. Just gorgeous. So I've got the, the purples, the teals, and the blues. And the blues have some purple in there too. Check that out. So there'll be a lot of fabrics that can go with these. I'm really excited about it. And then, um, I'm not sure if you remember when I did the, um, the whale song um, quilt top, which was the panel with um, the easy borders. And uh, you can find that in our quilting tutorials. Um, it's just, I think it's just called panel um, with easy borders um, or easy borders on panels, something like that. And um, back to the stupid remembering names things and I created the name of the tutorial, so go figure. Anyhow, I didn't really have a backing that I liked for it on hand um, to be able to get it quilted and I've had ideas running through my head of what I want to do in my quilting on it um, which change periodically so we'll see what I actually end up doing um, when I get going because I never know or almost never know what I'm going to quilt um, on something uh, whatever comes into my head while I'm working is basically what ends up on the quilts. So, um, this is, oh, and it's not on my sheet. Let me see. Okay. Oh, this is the actual whale song um, backing. I, I thought so, but I wasn't positive. So I wanted to check it. And once again, this is the 108 wide um, backing of whale song. And it's just gorgeous. And of course, you know, can, that since it was made, you know, in that line of fabrics, it's going to go beautifully with that quilt. And then when I get these quilts quilted, hopefully soon, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, then I'll be shipping them back to Barb. Excited. Now I have the backing because I've had I've had it hung up for a long time. Um, looking at it and looking at it, uh, trying to decide what I was going to do with it. And so now I have the fabric in, and um, so I can sandwich that up. And then once it's sandwiched up, it goes onto my long arm table. I have a sit down, um, not the frame, but I have the sit down. So I just lay it out on my table, and then as I have time in between other things, I'll sit down and do some quilting. And I try to mix it all up so that I'm doing my quilting quite often so I can keep my techniques uh, growing and expanding. So let's see, what else do we have here? Oh yes, we have the pattern for the half um, apron, which I'm going to be doing a tutorial on soon, possibly even this week. I'm hoping it will be this week. I've got a couple of other things to do, um, but I'm going to try to get this done as soon as possible. Uh, we'll be doing, making up some kits for it for you, and with the kit, you would get the, the pattern included with the kit. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's just nothing I can do about it. It's just one of those years. And um, every time I move, um, not that I've moved a lot in my adult life, but whenever I move, um, it's like I have to get used to the whole environment because uh, there's different plants, different things floating in the air and so forth. And a different house. And so it's like my system has to take a while to catch up to everything. Um, or at least that's my guess on it. So I'm really excited to be doing this coming up. So I have that set aside. I'm going to pull some fabric for it later. 
I'm thinking I'm either going to make a fall one or a Christmassy one. Um, so we'll see. But I end up deciding on fabrics. So then yesterday, or the day before, I can't remember. I think it was Saturday. I had a package come in. And I have no idea what's in here because I don't remember. I couldn't even remember what was supposed to be in that package until I opened it up. And that's a nice thing too about seaside quilting. Um, I've never since the first year that I started purchasing from them um, ever had to measure my fabric. Usually a 36 inch, um, you know, which is one yard ends up being around 38 inches cut for them. If you go to a clothing store or anywhere else, they really, they put their um, fabric right to the line and they cut. So you'll end up with 36 inches. And if there's any variation in that fabric, how it was wound on the spools, you know, onto the um, bolts, Sometimes it gets, gets skewed that way. Um, it just depends. Sometimes you'll, you know, I've gone to quilting stores and, you know, I'll get home and I'll see that I'm going to lose two to three inches, um, you know, like an inch or, or an inch and a half on each end because it's been cut odd and they didn't straighten the fabric out before they did the cut. The nice thing is, is that I never have to worry. They always cut a little bit extra. Now, if you buy an end of bolt, it's going to be what it is because it's the last part of the bolt. So if it says 14 by whatever, that's what it is. If it says 26 by whatever, that's what it is. You're not going to get extra out of an end of bolt. There's no extra to cut, of course. So just keep that in mind. But when you order by yards with fabric that comes in or we have in stock, they always cut a little bit extra, which is wonderful. We've only ever had one person complain about it. I don't even know why you'd complain about having extra, but this person ordered, I think a half a yard or something, and it ended up being cut at 20 inches instead of 18, and the woman was very, very upset about it. I hope you're not one of those people, but that's the only time it's ever happened. Everybody else seems pretty joyous about getting a little extra fabric. I mean, why wouldn't you? I don't know what to tell you. Oh, and there were some shells in with this package. Oh, that one's cute. That one's really cute. I like it. It's different. And I got a gray one. Check that out. I love that she she goes and does this little extra of um, sending that out for us. It's wonderful. So I had bought a two pack. Um, we've been doing some two packs because. Um, some projects you may only need two colors and uh, we do a lot of three packs so um, for the three yard quilts and so this was a yard each of this is um, seagull was the name of this belly chop and um, if you've been watching my box openings, you know, I love belly dots and I love belly chops. And these are like almost like big sunflowers, just pretty. And um, it's called Seagull. It's more of gray tones and I need some grays. I do have some of this. Can you believe that? Um, but I'm not sure I was going to have enough for the project that I have in mind for it. And eventually, uh, I'll get to that project. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to make sure, especially when I'm planning a project ahead of time, which may take me two, three months or so before I get to that project or more, 
I could change my mind by then. You just never know. But anyways, I'd like to make sure that I have more than enough fabric of it. And this is a gray blender. It's a very, very light gray. It's so light of a gray that it almost looks white. Um, let me see. I don't know if this white, well, the white paper will help just a little bit. Not great with my lining, but um, it, it is gray. I will tell you that it is a gray. Um, it just doesn't look like a super gray. Um, but it does have like a gray undertone to it. And um, we've all seen those whites that do that. They're, um, they're very white, but they have like a gray hue to them. Um, this will be great with that fabric. So that's wonderful. And then, and that was actually my order for that week. So I'm not sure what's in here. We'll find out. But I'm pretty sure that's all I ordered for that week. So we'll see. Could be a surprise. Oh, no, I did. Maybe it was two weeks of orders that came in together. I don't remember. But I have um, a couple of patterns as well. The Noel um, tree skirt, which I'll be doing coming up. And I already have the fabrics uh, from Barb for this kit. So I wasn't worried about that. I already have them in. Isn't that cute? And this makes um, approximately 50 inches round. And for me, that's about the size that I like for under my tree. Um, and of course, it depends on your size of tree, how big of a tree skirt you want for the underneath. But I like a nice big one. I have a pretty, not the hugest uh, tree, but it's, it's a good size. And so the 50 inch will be wonderful. So I have that. And then she sent me the, um, the regatta pattern. And I don't think I already had this one. I'll check if anytime, um, sometimes I, I end up with uh, duplicates. I just send them back when I'm sending back something else. So we'll see. Uh, I don't think I have this pattern though, but I will check. And so I have those two patterns that came in and then I had one more, um, bundle that I grabbed. Oh, no, it wasn't a bundle, actually. It was um, two yards of the, let me imagine this, Valley Chops. <laughs> and this one is um, Sparrow. And I do already have some of the Sparrow, but I only had a little bit left of the Sparrow. So I wanted to grab a little bit more. And the thing with belly chops is that some they keep reproducing and others get retired. So I don't know what constitutes them choosing um, when to retire a fabric. I don't know if it's a matter of sales or um, I don't know why they choose to retire certain colors and other ones they keep reproducing. but. Anytime, and this one, I don't think this was one of them, but anytime I hear that there's a threat of one being um, retired, I try to grab some ahead of time. Um, this, I don't believe, was one of them um, coming up. But I was low on it and figured I might as well grab some. So this was the seagull, and this one is the sparrow. And I won't use them together, but I just wanted you to see the coloring in this in the sparrow so it's not like a white white in there but it's almost like a gray and sometimes when you look at it just right it almost has like a tan 
look to it when you're looking at it from a distance, but it's actually like a gray in there mixed with the black. And it's just really, I love belly chops anyways. And then um, the raindrops. And I think this was an end of bolt piece, but I'm not positive on it. But I think that's what it was. And this is just another boutique called rain, um, Raindrops. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you. Between hiccups and coughing, <laughs> I don't know which is, is getting to me more. Um, I don't really have a project planned for that, but I saw it and I hadn't ordered it before. I had been tempted a couple times and I saw it, I think it was in the ends of bolts and uh, grabbed a piece of it. I'm thinking um, in my mind, looking at it now, that it would be great for a nice little uh, tote bag or something. And I have several tote bags that I'll be making uh, coming up. I'm going to be doing the reversible one with some Halloween fabric that I have setting aside as a kit um, pretty soon. And then um, some other tote bags. And I've had requests from family members that they would really like some tote bags. That must mean that they're getting tired of the table runners <laughs> and the pot holders and the other things that I make and give away. I just love making things to give instead of buying things. Often, I don't know what a person needs in their home or would like. Um, sometimes I do, but uh, most often I don't, especially when they're far away. So I like to make things um, and make them special for each person. So anyways, that's it for today. That's uh, my box opening. Uh, my next order is a little bit small, so I might wait until um, I have a couple of orders before I do another box opening. But I have some spectacular projects coming up, and I hope that if you haven't subscribed to us, please do so. And then um, click on the little notification bell and change your notifications so that the next tutorials that come up you'll get to know what they are. And um, let me see, one is a three yard Chris, uh, Christmas quilt. One is the cathedral window um, pillow. I have the pattern for the quilt and pillow, but I'm only going to be doing the uh, tutorial on the pillow since it's smaller. Um, but either way, it's the same way to do it. And then uh, the reversible uh, tote bag, uh, the apron, um, a table runner with Christmas trees on it uh, and some other projects coming up uh, I'm hoping to do like a the carry-all uh, that you can do with um, fabric uh, for the casserole dishes and such um, so I'm planning on doing a project with that and I've got a list so long I'm not sure I'll ever get to all of it but we'll have a lot of fun while we're doing them. So anyways, until next time, I wish you happy sewing. <laughs>